Hello guys and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today we'll be showing you guys how to sync things in your video with beats in your audio music. So let's begin. So in today's video tutorial we're going to be creating this. Essentially what we're doing is we're going to time the gunshots to beats in the music so that they work well together. This is common technique used in videos such as gaming montages and other types of video work. So if you guys can see here, I've got this uh, clip of uh, Black Ops 3 gameplay footage which I found on the internet. And I'm just going to be using some of that uh, for the purposes of today's video. So I'm just going to be using a bit right here. I can use the comma and the full stop keys to go to a certain point in the video frame by frame. I'm just going to hit I on my keyboard to set an in point and I'm just going to hit this button to drop it into my timeline starting from here. So now in my timeline I've just got this footage. The music that we're going to have is this one that I've downloaded from NCS. So that's pretty much the music we're going to use. When the bass kind of drops and the, and the beat starts, that's where I'm going to use for the first kill right here. So exactly where that beat was, I hit I on my keyboard to set an in point. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it in after all of this and just drag it all the way back here. I'm going to come back here now. I'm going to find the point in this video where the guy gets killed. So I think that's about where I want the beat to start. Right here. I'm just going to drag it so that it does start here and I'm going to extend it so that it actually like the music starts before that. So we're just going to play this back and see how it looks. So if you ask me, the timing there was pretty good. You can use the audio waveforms, as you can see here, where the height of the waveform represents the amplitude of the wave or the volume of the sound being produced. We can see here that in the music, this is where the beat starts, and we can see that this is also where the gunshots really start. So you can see that they match up well together there. Now we're going to have a look at the next shot that's been fired. When he changes over to the sniper rifle, we can see from the waveform in this audio right here that the shot starts around here. So it's about here that the shot is fired. Just a bit before that then, so that the audience kind of has time to comprehend what's going on, I'm just going to cut the video right here. So I'm just going to grab this slice tool and just cut the video right there. And then I'm going to cut it after the guy is killed over here as well right on that beat there. So I'm just going to cut it there and here we're going to be doing the bit of the timing trick. So we're just going to find the beat where we want the next shot to be. So I think I've found the place where I want it to be. I'm just going to play it until that point. So that's the place where I want the, uh, the shot to be. That's the beat right there. As you can see uh, by this little spike in the volume right there. And so what I want to do is I want to speed up this clip right here so it's pushed forward and it makes way for this clip to come in. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the rate stretch tool right down here. I'm just going to drag the video right here and you can use the normal tool to just drag this clip back until the sound of the shot lines up with the beat right there. And using the rate stretch tool again I'm just going to stretch this back out, whoops, stretch it back out until it hits that mark again. And we're just going to see how this plays back. If you want to get the timing really right, then you can lower the resolution from full to half right here. 
to make sure that you can really see the timing perfectly. And also here, I'm just going to click on the audio track right here, and go into the controls and the properties there, and I'm going to lower the level so that it's silent. So I think that first beat is pretty good. Just going to watch it over again. Now we're going to do a similar thing for this shot right here, which was also on point. I'm just going to cut before this shot and after this shot. And then I'm just going to grab the rate stretch tool, stretch this all the way back, grab the normal tool, move this over to the point where the beat is, grab the rate stretch tool again, and just drag it back. And let's see how this plays back. So it's a bit late, I'm just going to grab the rate stretch tool and adjust it, and just drag this back. Alright, let's have a look at it again. Okay, so I think I've got the timing for that beat down as well. I'm just going to do the exact same thing, the exact same process for all the other shots that I want, and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I think I'm pretty much done. Let's just go ahead and play this back and see how it looks. And I think that's pretty good. So, thank you guys for watching this video, I hope I helped you out. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like on this video, and to share it with all of your friends. And of course, if you want more videos just like this, then subscribe for more content. I will see you guys in the next video, stay shy. Bye.